Hello everyone, this is Dr. Quedi here. I just want to make a quick video on the basic terminology in topographic anatomy. If you are new here, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Alright, so we are going to talk about the basic terminology in topographic anatomy. Alright, so in topographic anatomy we talk about the relationship and the position the position of different body organs and their relationship to the different parts of the body. All right, so we talk about holotopy. We're not talking about the position of the different body organs. We talk about skeletopy. Moreover, we're talking about syntopy. All right, and uh, we also have projections and then we shall not forget about surface landmarks surface landmarks all right now a lot of it this is the position of the body organ when in the relationship to the different um, planes of the body different planes of the body, be it horizontal plane, be it the sagittal plane, right, or be it uh, in relation to uh, the frontal plane, mm -hmm. and as well as whether the organ is um proximal or distal all right skeletopy this is the position of an organ in relation to the bones yes what are the different what are the limits and what are the margins of the organ what are the upper borders the lower borders the left borders the right borders in relation to the bones, the rib cage, the vertebrae, as well as other organs, the um, other bones like the um, clavicle, all right, syntopy. This is the position of the organ of the body in relation to the different layers, in relation to the different layers of the body. Right, of course, starting with the skin and then the subcutaneous, subcutaneous fat, and then the superficial fascia, fascia superficialis, and then um, you have the, um, the next fascia, which is there. Proper fascia, proper fascia, and then you have the deep, the deep um, structures, the deep structures, all right, that are under the fascia, also known as subfacial deep structures, all right, projections. These are the body prominences that allow us to demarcate to identify the location of the organ so this can be bony prominences and it can also be tendons tendons that when the muscle is flexed is uh, is, is flexed and contracted then um, the tendon allows us to demarcate a location for uh, blood pressure measurements or for surgical operations for example the metacarpophalangeal joint where you have some uh, uh, important sheets uh, of the uh, tendons that can be inflamed during uh, tendovaginitis all right and then you have uh, surface landmarks surface landmarks 
these are this tells us the position of the body organ that has been determined by palpation for example palpating the kidney palpating the aorta and so on and so forth projections uh, also allow us to identify locations for things like injections for example uh, placing a central venous catheter so placing a central venous catheter uh, we need a very good projection to allow us <coughs> to understand uh, how where especially that is along the the middle point of the clavicle the mid third the mid third middle third of the clavicle that is where uh, you puncture to insert the central venous catheter all right so I hope that was uh, quite easy for everybody to follow and I hope this has enriched your knowledge of topographic anatomy come back again for our next videos hit like and subscribe share with your friends and uh, colleagues and see you again